First he crosses the line and then he snorts it. David Coote, you have been caught. We covered the news yesterday about the corruption of David Coote with Liverpool, but now it's gone even further as he's been seen sniffing a Class A drug. Not only caught sniffing a Class A drug, caught sniffing a Class A drug at work. He's done it again. Should have smelt this one coming. When the first video came out, I was angry. I was annoyed. This second one's hilarious. One, he's been done slagging off Liverpool and seeming corrupt as he is. This one has just ruined his, potentially, his life. He's been caught not only snorting cocaine, which for all you kids out there is illegal. That's a drug. Drugs are illegal. But two, he's done it whilst at the Euros. So the video was taken whilst he was in a UEFA funded hotel. So UEFA, he was on a work trip. He'd been dropped from the Nations League games anyway. He can't ref again. Like if there was any debate if he could ref, he, he could, could ref, ref in the first place. I know. Anyone that's defended him, Term at Gallagher in his glasses or his bald head, anyone that's defended him has said, well, he's entitled to his own opinions. He can say what he wants in his own time. You can't do drugs on a work trip, no matter what profession you're in. Everyone loses their job. I find it quite mad, actually, that for a guy who hates Liverpool so much, he's actually idolising Robbie Fowler. <laughs> <laughs> for a guy who can't draw lines, he can certainly snort them. This is becoming my new favourite reality TV show. Like, I, every, it's like watching Love Island or I'm a Celebrity. Like, every night I'm tuning in, what has this idiot done next? <laughs> If you ask me, Ty, it's not okay. His career is done. If he gets a job in Saudi, I'm rioting because that's not acceptable. As a ref now, you'd be petrified because you'd think everything you've done, every message you've sent that is maybe a bit questionable, you think, oh, that, oh I shouldn't have sent that, but like, it's never getting out. You don't know what's getting out now. Do you? Have you seen the win percentage compared to Liverpool and City when he refs us? Yeah, theirs was like 100% to us, 60-odd. Man City never lost a game that David Coote refereed, which is just absurd. I know they tend not to lose games, but so do we. And we, we lost one in three compared to their never losing under his ref. I mean, he was probably high half the time. He doesn't know who he was refing. Apparently, the PGMOL knew about this video when it first came out three years ago. And because of that, that's why he hasn't ref Liverpool for the last three years. I'd like to know the track record of a referee refing a team and then not refing them, still being in the league. I genuinely think this is one, the end of his career. And that's another thing. Can you go to prison for that? He should have for the first thing. <laughs> that was what I was saying. He should be in jail for costing us league titles. David Coote, you clearly like line, so here's a line for you. Suck your mum. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Obviously, there's no Liverpool game this weekend, so we'll be off with David Coote having a party. Yeah. Make sure to sniff and subscribe.